guys, welcome to another episode of Just In Case. Today, we've got the other brother with us, I, Shane. <laughs> He's an expert at not participating. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, today uh, we're going to get a little adventurous and try and water cool Cody's PC. So tell us what we're doing. So this is uh, Old Faithful right here, and by old I mean like two, three months old Faithful. And anyways, I don't know, I just got real obsessed with computers. So what we're going to be doing is taking out the uh, 6700K, the CPU, and then the uh, GTX 1080. We're going to strap water blocks onto them, and throw them into the new case, which is a Fractal Design, or sorry, Fractal Design Define S. That's what it is. And so we already got a couple new components in here. Uh, we have um, new motherboard, which is actually the same motherboard as what Sean uh, put in his computer. It's the Asus ROG Maximus 8 Hero. Then we also have 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z RAM. And we have a new power supply. It's fully modular, so that'll be fun. It's the VGA 650G2. Uh, we're also going to take down uh, the SSA, or SSD boot drive. Switch it over. We're also adding the two Toshiba SSDs because he needs three. Because I need three. I don't need no stinging hard drives. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, um, we have a lot to do, and we honestly don't know where to start. So we're just gonna keep falling forward till it's done. So if you haven't already seen us build Cody's computer, well, paint it. <laughs> go back and watch that video. And if you haven't seen us put the motherboard in my computer, go back and watch that one. So. Now we're going to try and figure out what to do with all these parts that Cody's ordered. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we have to do is uh, take apart our old computer and take the pieces out that we're going to use on the new computer. So we're only going to be taking out three uh, pieces. We're going to be taking out the uh, boot drive, which is a 256 Samsung Evo SSD. We're going to be taking out the GPU, the uh, GTX 1080 Founders Edition. And we're also going to be stealing the uh, CPU out from under there, the 6700K. So, we'll get to it. We just had to take off this back plate quick. I got most of the way through it before we realized we should probably include this because it's part of the water cooling. But there's tiny, tiny screws that we had to take out out of all of this. And then I haven't got to these back ones. Uh, but only these top or these bottom two. Whoop, here we go. Thank you. I'll wait for that to get in focus. So only these bottom two we need to take out. These uh, these three top ones attach the connectors or something to the plate. Damn. Yeah. So I've already taken out the little screws to take off the back plate. And then there was four of these fancy ones right here. They're all spring loaded. I don't know if you can see that well, but. And then what's this again? The thermal. Thermal pads. The thermal pads. Protecting the VRM. You can finish docking. That's it. Shane's been doing good. Uh, the only thing that he has left on this back side is he's got to take off the standoffs for those super, super tiny screws. But once when he gets those standoffs done, then uh, we'll get some new uh, thermal pads for the back and then we'll flip it over and then we'll take off the air cooler. So, And the reason we're doing all of this is because we need to put a new back plate on as well as a new front plate uh, to water cool it. So everything needs to come off. This is gonna be the uh, the front plate that we're gonna be throwing on. Well, this is the back. We're gonna put in, putting this underneath. We haven't taken out the back plate yet because we're all greasy, greasy folk here. And uh, the back plate's gonna be full nickel, so it's gonna be super shiny, super awesome. So we're waiting till last to uh, show you guys that so we don't get it all smudgy.
took us forever, and it was mostly just because we weren't uh, we weren't sure on a good couple of the screws. We thought that we lost some, but we got it all figured out. But anyway, so we got it installed on the front, and this is going to be awesome. So uh, the water is going to come in through this acetal uh, part of the block. We're not sure if it's going to go on top or bottom, but it's going to come in through the block like this. It's going to go through the fins. And uh, the nice thing about this is that there's not just the GPU, but there's also a lot of other things on the surface of the uh, PCB that needs to be cooled. So this is touching everything that gets hot on the GPU. Water is going to run through it all, run through the fins, and it's going to get exited out here. Uh, we won't see any of this because it's all going to be facing the bottom. That's why we got this. Ooh, let's see. So, this is, it dissipates a little bit of heat. Um, there is some uh, VRM on the backside of the uh, PCB, but most importantly, it's just gonna look really nice. This is gonna be the part that uh, you see when you're looking into the case. So uh, we're gonna get this installed and uh, keep moving from there, so. Well, we've got everything taken out. Well, put in, I mean. <laughs> So uh, here you can see we've got our radiator going. We've got our graphics card all set up, our CPU all set up. So now we're gonna start uh, trying to figure out the bends for the hard tubing and the fittings. guys so as you can see we have finished bending all of our pipe it looks freaking awesome now we just have to check for leaks so the bends were actually super fun um, so we started out with that one like we talked about before because we thought that was gonna be the hardest and really happy with it then we moved on to this one and we tried this one like seven times and we settled on a pipe, and then while I was trying to do this guy back there, um, I accidentally made it way too big. And so this perfect run happened 110% by accident. I was trying to do that little guy in the back. Um, but yeah, luckily Sean saved my bacon because that back one was going to take me forever. For some reason, I made my angles way too big. This guy was pretty easy right at the start. You just we were messing around and that one just turned out fine. And then this dude, he was super fun. Um, we have a uh, bending tool and uh, we've only used it for the 180s, but unfortunately it was too wide. And so we just kind of had to uh, free ball it and it worked. So yeah, we're going to uh, put some system prep in, uh, check to make sure that there's no leaks and We'll get to it.
we're finally done. <laughs> it uh, took us overnight. We had to let it run for about 12 hours. Uh, and then we came back and we went ahead and put the uh, actual coolant through it. And it looks pretty awesome. You want to tell us about it? <laughs> I mean, we've already, outro? <laughs> we, we've already talked about it pretty thoroughly. Well, not too thoroughly. Um, if we missed it, it's all EK uh, water blocks. And uh, we did have to go with the bits power uh, tubing, which is fine. Um, but yeah, honestly, it turned out to be like me and Sean don't have a lot of experience at all with computers really I mean besides what we've done on the channel and Sean's done a little bit before that but honestly I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it actually was um, it was pretty easy uh, the bending the tubes wasn't too hard it was just really frustrating because you have to have everything in perfectly and so we got a lot of the tubes pretty quickly but there was a couple like the uh, one going out of the CPU block into the front radiator that one took us uh, so many tries but we got it done and Honestly, we did it in, I would say, probably a third of the time that I would like put aside to actually make this happen. So, if you're thinking about it, it's really not too bad. I mean, figuring out all the parts was probably the hardest part about putting it all in, so. So, our lack of experience is why we had Shane come on. In high school, Shane was in a program called CyberCore, and he fixed all the computers at the school. <laughs> uh, but I have not touched computers in a long time. I haven't done anything with it. So I'm really just the third brother that Kalon just, I think off, I, I took off a back plate or something. <laughs> yeah, you did the, the GPU block, so that was really the awesome. GPU block. So those are my hands in the video. That's about all you're going to see of me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching our next video. We're going to be doing a ukulele build-off. So look forward to that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you want to see next. And we'll keep bringing you awesome videos. See you guys next time. I have the best vision out of all of us. No, you don't. I have 1520. 2020. Yeah, 1520 is better. You do not have 1520. Yeah, huh? When did you have 1520? Since I grew up. Since no. I was born. No, You've you never had 1520. The last time they checked me, and every time before that, I've had 2015. you. The eye doctors! <laughs> Turn your head and cough. Mom! You have 15, 20 eyes.